I've always loved the idea of thrifting. Going through a heaping pile of trash becomes so exhilarating when you entertain the idea that there could be something unexpectedly amazing hiding beneath the surface. For the longest time, I've played this game not just in clothing stores, but also on YouTube.com. There is so much content being put out at all times that it's not even possible for the human mind to fully comprehend. Yeah, sure, 90% of it is meaningless, mundane, low quality, but there still is that 10% of incredible stuff made by truly passionate creators that just doesn't get enough attention. And the feeling of discovering these underrated passion projects is pure magic. So why don't you join me as we venture into the inspiring and sometimes strange depths of YouTube's unknown videos. Since there's so much content out there, you can't just expect the hidden gems to come to you. You have to seek them out. Generally, my method of doing this involves searching up random keywords or concepts and sorting by new. Then if I find a neat rabbit hole, I just follow the recommended trail to wherever it takes me. I like mayonnaise. Is this fried mayonnaise? YouTube is kind of interesting because it is so reliant on niches. You could come across a great channel, but not be interested at all because you're just not into that specific niche. For this reason, I tried to find channels from a good variety of different categories. I don't know why, I'm, I'm curious about painting. Ooh. Ooh, I love that drawing method. Dude, this is, this is the type of art I'm into. I'm, I'm not trying to do any, you know, that super precise, specific painting. This is the type of shit I fuck with. Just going... Some, some dried acrylic, uh, peel off my Whoa! I had never thought of doing that. He's putting dried, like, acrylic, like, piles of just paint on there. The first channel I'd like to specifically highlight is one that I think I can recommend to just about anyone. It's that good. The concept is gold, but the execution is even better. Here's the pitch. Two middle-aged men review and discuss buffets from around the world, but they don't visit the buffets, they just look at pictures of them. The show is ironic, chaotic, and amazing. It's all held up by the incredible chemistry between these two dudes, Aaron and Bill. I'm not kidding when I say I was literally laughing my ass off when I first discovered this. Well, my, my understanding is that this restaurant is run by the Amish, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they have an early bedtime because they don't use electricity, so they basically have to go to bed at sundown. Is that correct? But I'm not Amish, f***ing idiot. So I don't know when Amish go to bed. I know, I don't know that. Apparently they began posting during the pandemic as a way to remember and respect the many buffets that started going out of business around that time. But of course, as a result of social distancing at the time, they couldn't just go to these buffets, they had to look at images over Zoom. And so, Food Buffet Report was born. The fantastic thing about this is that they are still actively posting. With a lot of these uh, pandemic projects, usually you see them fizzle out pretty quickly after the end of the lockdown. With people going back to work, school, and whatnot, they tend to drop whatever hobbies they had picked up simply because they don't have as much free time anymore. But it warms my heart to see the undying dedication of the Food Buffet Report bros. It makes me so happy to see some middle-aged guys make something so mundane, so entertaining. I hope they never stop talking about pictures of buffets, because if they don't do it, who will? Nobody else is going to talk about buffets. Nobody's going to talk about them the way that we do. And the way that we talk about buffets is not going to them. <laughs> I think we can get the most interesting results by combining two generated words. For instance, average stick. All right, guys, what is going on? We I don't know about you, but there is no one else on earth that I would trust more to give me fishing advice than these guys. Drain, professor. <laughs> what did I expect looking up drain, professor? Is this, so is this him? Is this the drain, professor? Show me the drain, Professor. Come on. Because it's inevitable. Wait till you see these demos. If you have there he is. Oh, he. He's in his element right now. Club Decca is a channel that can be described in a single word. I was gonna put him. You never know what exactly to expect from Club Decca's next video, but rest assured, whatever it is, it'll be fun. If it's any help, I mean, I can I can read their channel description. I'm like play video game. I'm like play video games. 
Yeah, generally speaking, most of their videos are gaming related, but still, that's not written in stone. At the end of the day, the vibe I get from this is that they're just making whatever they think would be fun, which I think is very refreshing to see. Their videos are short and addicting, so it's very easy to get into. Also, they seem to just have the type of personality that works so well in front of a camera and microphone. If there was a zero dollar bill, I'm I, I'm gonna be honest, that's that's top of S tier. Are you kidding me? I would pay twenty dollars for a zero dollar bill. Easy peasy recommend. Check out their DS videos. We got food reviews now. Yee welcome back. <laughs> hey. Oh my God, this dude is hitting the double uploads. This dude just must review everything he eats, every meal. It is it is nice to know, you know, just that somewhere in the world, you know, no matter no matter what kind of day you're having, no matter what kind of problems you're going through, somewhere in the world, there is a southern man with a cowboy hat reviewing apple pie frozen yogurt. I think that's beautiful. This channel is a bit bigger, but I'd like to talk about it anyway because frankly, I think it still isn't getting as much attention as it deserves. Mort's Garage. Imagine Pawn Stars, but with retro gaming collectibles. That's Mort's Garage, and if you're thinking, oh, I'm not into retro gaming stuff, don't worry. I'm not either, but the way this show is presented makes it very accessible and entertaining regardless of your knowledge on the topic. Mort is a retro gaming collector and reseller who knows his shit. So part of the fun of this series is watching him bring on guests or go to swap meets and witness his excitement as he uncovers some absolute grails. It's really fascinating because he also educates you on what's valuable and what's not, what's rare and what's really rare, and there's just this unexplainable thrill of what will he find. And of course, it's so well done and at points feels like a TV show. Great entertainment, this has quickly become one of my favorite channels, period. The beautiful thing about the internet and you know, the freedom of the internet and YouTube is that people who are actually passionate about things can have a voice and can talk about those things openly and actually, you know, garner respect for their, for having as much passion as they do. You know, I wouldn't want, like, just like how I wouldn't want those other guys teaching me, you know, I wouldn't want anyone other than those other guys to teach me how to fish. I wouldn't want anyone other than this dude to tell me about flowers because he clearly knows his shit. Possibly the chillest channel I'm mentioning is Cutting Room Ceiling, which features a guy chillaxing in their room talking about movies and TV. This channel is so easy to get into because of how casual it is. There's nothing flashy, it's beautifully minimalistic, and really embraces that chill, homemade feel. I love how the room itself feels like a core piece of the channel's identity. It's the backdrop, it's the branding, it's great. It really puts you in that immersive headspace of just hanging out with one of the homies talking about movies in their room. Have we come across an amateur analog horror? Oh, I think we have. I think we have. God damn, where did bro get this music? This is bumping. Oh, I was expecting a shitty jump scare. Oh, yeah, the jump scare was in the profile picture all along. This is cool. This seems interesting. I've gone down a total rabbit hole right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is a wild audio video combination right there. It is a little unsettling, but it's mostly funny because of country roads. If you're looking for interesting underground analog horror hey or if you're just looking for some banger songs you come to the right place digital media glaucon is a video essay type channel with insane production value focusing on video games and believe it or not bionicles yeah those things remember those the videos at their core are interesting and well researched but it's the editing that takes it over the top the futuristic motion graphics and sleek sound design goes so far beyond anything you'd expect from a channel with only 1,000 subscribers. And that's not even the most shocking thing about Glaucon. Multimedia project He's a robot! The early 2000s. This series changed the way I think about- Yo! <laughs> I immediately love this channel. The video topics are usually pretty niche, but if this at all intrigues you, I recommend you check it out. Oh gosh, I don't want to put grind in there. We're going to get the Sigma males up in here. I don't want that. Read, Read books. 
books. Read books. How about read good books? Read good books, yeah. I feel I like Book Jack knows what he's talking about. Hey guys, what's going on? I just oh, dismantled my TBR to bring you the 24. This guy already has a wow. commanding voice. That's very loud. <laughs> I loved this. And I loved Rizzio. it so much, in fact, that I made a fiction by because this a next book? I read Rizzio by Denise Mina. This uh, was a book that was not. Oh, actually, I wanted to look this up. I don't know if this exists much. Bird watching content. Oh. Does that exist? Because I feel like that would go ham. Uh oh, we got we got a wholesome <laughs> alert, fellas. Watch out! Brit Hikes Ontario is a remarkably wholesome channel in which a British guy and his wife go outside and do some bird watching. As you can imagine, it's just the most pleasant, relaxing time that reminds you, oh yeah, birds are sick. Not to mention, the intro is a, a banger. banger. Yeah. Damn, dude, oh, the Creeps. intro goes hard! Hold on. Uh, it was Brit, I said he's British. Did he take all of this footage? This is good. It's gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, look at that owl. Oh, that's amazing. Dude, oh, yes. This is making me want to get back into bird watching. Dude, this is what I was hoping for when I looked up bird watching. <laughs> I hoped there was a guy doing exactly this. Thank God. This is amazing. If you're looking for the most relaxing content YouTube has to offer, watch Brit Hikes Ontario. Looks like a grebe. <laughs> a grebe? That's yeah, the that's actual name called. of a bird? Yeah, these are grebes. Grebes. Well, I actually have a channel that I found recently. Has a thousand subscribers. Okay. Her name's Marlene. And it looks like she plays mostly, like, spooky, like, horror games. But she occasionally uploads my favorite stuff is her placid plastic duck simulator <laughs> videos. Because she has so many. I love that the the meta of this game is just waiting for the ducks to yeah. float down <laughs> the slides. Yeah, look at that. What? Comfort right here. I did not know this was in the game. I'm so cozy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Well, you're one with a name, my young man. You got This just radiates positivity, you know. It is very yeah. This is very, very wholesome. Uh, wholesome. <laughs> I know I said I was going to get a wide variety of topics going here, but uh I mean Y'all like video games? One of the up and coming channels of this niche, and yes, I do believe that they have a bright future, is Blandula. <laughs> they make great, simple content about nostalgic games. Nostalgic for me, at least. That means Wii, GameCube, what have you. You've probably seen videos like these before, but I'm willing to wager you haven't seen many this consistent and this silly. Plus, when you jump, the Wiimote makes a nice noise. Check them out right now. Do it. Do it. Tech reviews. So my I like watching tech reviews, even though I couldn't give less of a shit about them. Yeah, they're always you really know. well produced. Yeah. Because you, it's, you know, it's, it's just it's techies so, making them. It's so nice to listen to a person who knows what they're talking about talk about stuff that you have no idea yeah. I've how it works. I was initially yeah. looking at an iPad Ooh, Pro or even an that's iPad shiny. Mini. That is clear. The reason why I didn't go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, is this this does this person just straight up is all about Halloween? There's a little connector piece. Oh, that's shit, where the they got Yoda. I think that's some, the witch. It's the hands, you know, they're, they're <laughs> hard plastic. Dude, they're but that, uh, tell me Yoda. that doesn't look like Yoda though. It does. It does. Piece, I can see it. Head. It's an animatronic. Does it move? Yeah, dude. Whoa. That's, That's sick. Wait, 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 at the night time? Does it glow? Whoa. Dude. Please, come sit near me and pass some time in my shade. Dude, you, you just know that this is the house you want to go to. Oh, yeah. I bet he's the most popular. Yeah, they probably got a whole haunted Halloween. house. This is another channel that isn't quite small, but it certainly isn't getting the amount of recognition it deserves. Mantlebro is one of those creators with videos so well done, that it pisses me off. They're a musician based in Paris, so about half of their content is just songs and music videos, but the other half consists of these magnificent borderline short film vlogs documenting their musical journey. And somewhere along the way, it usually tends to get existential and reflective on life. It definitely leans into the sorta quote unquote deep 
artsy type vlogs that I have a complicated relationship with, but that's a topic for another day. Regardless, this is one of few channels that I've seen do that kind of thing in a way that doesn't feel cringe or disingenuous. They recently put out a video called Making Music in a World That's Falling Apart, which I consider to be a masterpiece. I recommend it if you are a human, and especially if you are a human who likes to make stuff. Speaking of music, have you noticed how insanely good YouTube is at recommending music that has literally zero views? A lot of the content I found was just all sorts of music with close to no listeners at all. There's actually a lot of good stuff out there, but I won't be talking about that here. Not this time, that is. If you know what I'm saying. I could go on, but I'ma just close out with a lightning round of a couple other notable channels I found. Dump Toes, super chill music discussion channel with a super chill host. I recommend it if you're into shoegaze or slowcore. Austin Bradley. This is a wacky channel where a dude uses his 3D printer to make abominations like this. Sprites feels like the beginning of a great animated story time channel. They only have a few videos so far, but those few are high quality. I could easily see this getting relatively big in the future. I almost forgot to mention this gem of a channel where this guy owns a book full of random jokes. People comment a number, and he reads the joke that corresponds with that number in the book every single day. He does this every day. I really respect the dedication, and so I even asked for a number and he had the most amazing reaction to my username. And enjoy today's joke from our brand new buddy, Waking World. Wake up everybody, it's time to laugh. I encourage you to check out the channels mentioned here and spread some positivity. Or do something else, I don't care. I had a lot of fun though, so if you want to do this again, just let me know. There's a lot of bad shit in this world. Just objectively, it's true. However, I believe there's also a lot of good shit that is beautiful and worth celebrating. There are wonderful creators and artists in this vast ocean of content, working endlessly to make something great. And they do all this, holding on to hope that one day, what they make may be meaningful for someone. So next time you're looking for something to watch, instead of letting an algorithm decide, try searching for something. You might be surprised by the gems that you'll find. Whatever your hobby is, hell, make some YouTube videos about it. There's nothing more beautiful to me than just the spectrum of humanity. just want to say um, thank you, uh, <laughs> truly uh, thank you if you are watching this video. What you create matters, and whether it is received um, how you thought it would be received or not, don't let that change the way that you create.